What's going on everybody? Right now we are in Soul Stage in New York City and we are gonna be going over sneaker stories with the phone bros. And Richie, since you're here, it's only right that we also do some shopping. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, let's get right to it. guys so the last video we just did obviously the sneaker regrets black cat fours fire red fives still regret them i you can still regret og jordan oh I'm just saying, i know that they, <laughs> they were going crazy in the comments i, I said mean, it was my fifth pair i said it was my david pair. some people fall back in love you know after you know <laughs> what, what, what are you thinking you know after looking at the weather here in the northeast <laughs> he's back on the bars. <laughs> hey everybody flip flops it's situational man All right, guys, so recently, Jerry Lorenzo obviously got announced as head of director of like basketball operations and clothing at Adidas. Wow. So with that being said, we've been in New York, we've been at a few sneaker shops, and the owners have been saying people have been buying up the air fear of gods. What are your thoughts? All right, Richie, first of all, I gotta ask you, you just resold like 10 pairs to SubFed in Seattle. Do you regret it now? Because the news came out like right after you did that. You know, I saw it, it definitely, it's, it's something I'm not even trying to think about because I sold them somewhat low, sold about 10 pairs to Tia. I don't know though, it's not a definite go up in price type of situation. I don't think it's a guarantee, man. I think right now, and, and I don't really blame them, a lot of people are trying to play sneakers like stocks. Yeah. Like, you know, like Bitcoin shooting up and you sell that 19, it's going to 23. It's not guaranteed to stay at 23 either. If you made me guess, I think it is very, very particular colorways. Like the Laker colorway that I sold, that's super rare. I think those are gonna go up, but the, the general like GR type colors like this, I feel like are gonna just stay around the you know, low because price. It, if people want to draw a comparison to the Yeezy 2s, I just don't think it's as iconic. It's not right. as sought after, and there's way more pairs of these yeah, on the market. Way more you. colors. I agree. I agree. Ow! Oh! Andrew swore <laughs> up and down that he was He's... going to get the aliens, and he did not even. Hey, buy I've I've walked so. past him like 50 times in my life. So I think when I first saw the leaked photos, I was like, okay, look at the amount of boosts. I'm gonna get them because I never. So you were really no. on these. You know why? Because I'm not. I'm not on the V2. So I was like, yo, I'm not really on the V2s anymore. So let me get the aliens. And I said it. I said it. And what made you not get them? I, I don't like any of the colorways, <laughs> and I'm kind of kind of off the Yeezy boost. Oh, <laughs> I'm flip flop. That's like flip -flop. the that's the opposite of a flip flop. You know what I mean? Like saying you're gonna get some sneakers and not even copy one hey, pair. No, you know that's that's the fake cop. People say a lot of things, all right. <laughs> I, I meant it when I said. Hey, it. could you give them a chance right now? Nah, nah, nah. All right, all right. Some other sneakers. That goes to show you how little I know about Yeezys. These are the aliens, guys. This colorway. I immediately knew in this situation that it was wrong. Woo, the hyper flights right here. You guys have a pretty funny story about the yellow pair. I remember somebody was trying to sell the yellow and black ones to somebody and they're like, Hey man, you had these on? You be like a bumblebee dog. <laughs> And I think the funniest yeah, thing hey, was that's, that dude was Asian. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow hyper flights right here. These used to be like one of my favorite sneakers, but they, they're dangerous. Yeah. These are not good sneakers to hoop in. Not to mention when you wear them, they crease like crazy. So actually we had a friend who was wearing them for basketball season in high school and he had to stuff them with socks so that they didn't crease as much when he wore them. All right, Richie, what is going on with the expensive mesh? basketball shorts so in particular these are the eric emmanuel shorts i haven't bought it's, it. it it's a thing right now over at least 150 bucks usually resale in these Ooh. but you got like bait collabs that go for way more i feel like it's a thing right now to wear like expensive basketball shorts even while you're hooping like training you know like a lot of nba players have been doing it yeah they've been a lot of nba players from what i've seen they've been wearing like fashion fashion yeah. while training they'll rock all right so here's the fit a pair of, of like regular hoop shoes maybe kobe's a pair of these you know in a wild color mm -hmm. and then like a vintage tee and they'll still be rocking some ice yeah, yeah. like that's the look right and now they're doing the chris brickley drills yeah chris brickley has to be there i'm pretty sure we're talking about kelly Oubre. kelly Oubre, <laughs> but a jordan clarkson i feel yeah. like this is interesting because it's kind of like a throwback material almost reminds you of like the grade school rec basketball shorts yeah from back in the, the champions yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah. are not dry fit these yeah. are not like the there's high no, tech uh, there's no like triple stitching or anything no, to justify just, the price right they're just really standard mesh shorts but they've been going crazy 
crazy lately. Even the general colorways sell out immediately. So yeah, Eric Emanuel definitely has been doing his thing, but now he's trying to cross over to like sweats and athleisure. I'm curious to see how people receive his other clothing as well. All right, guys, I want to take this time to address a very historic comment in our old sneakerhead video that has a lot of views. I was holding up this pair and I called them the Concords. This is the DMPs because they, they have the gold jump man. Obviously, not the Concords. This is the Concords. Mm. Call it by what it is. And people I mean, are like, yo, that's the DMPs. Yeah. I see what you're, you're going off a colorway. Yeah, it was a it, mistake it, for yeah. a sneakerhead. My bad. I've learned. <laughs> David, uh, we're in the Supreme Stone Island section right here. Obviously, you have Stone Island Supreme jacket, sweatshirt. Right. What is your thought process when you cop something like this? It's not every day you get expensive pieces like this. So if you are gonna get it, what's your thought process? <clears throat> All right, let me break it down. I don't wanna end up the Stone Island meme mm -hmm. of the, the, where it's like, they don't even know what So you're trying to shine, basically. Right, yeah. right. And then uh, I kind of, you know, I'm getting grown. So it's, it's like grown, but staying young. Supreme Stone Island. Boom. I feel like anytime with the Supreme, you're getting the best of both worlds from both brands, right? So right. You're, you're hitting a lot of different benchmarks. When I feel like that. Supreme Stone Island, that's like gotta be like a Porsche Cayenne. It's um, Italian from the Porsche side, but the Cayenne is this SUV that's more American. Mm, okay, okay. Yo, that is crazy that they have these at Soul Stage. Super rare, chrome hearts. I just they know they're very expensive. Yeah, so like, I think around like five Gs, you get a pair of like old, old, real vintage Levi's. Chrome hearts get some and they basically repurpose them with their own hardware and patches and everything. Rappers love this, like right now, going crazy over the chrome hearts. I feel like this is kind of a trend, Rich. I mean, we even saw some clothes at Kith earlier this trip where it's repurposed Patagonia. Yeah. Is this, is this gonna, like, kind of goes along with the vintage repurposing I trend? I feel like to justify prices like this, it needs to almost kind of give you that one of one feel, like this is real handmade stuff. So I think that's why these prices on these are crazy. I know that New Balance as an entire brand, whether it was on the retro side or performance side, had a huge year in 2020. Definitely the Emelion Doors 550s crazy this year. You have the gray pair, green pair, navy pair, and the red pair. Those are fire. And if you wear them, you gotta roll up your pants. Mm, Cuff them up nice just a little, little bit. Little trousers. Yeah. Crop, show the trousers, so crop yeah. trousers. But even with show New Balance socks. making moves, signing Jack Harlow was huge. Yeah. He's Known for wearing the 990s is his thing. They've also been in talks of getting him his own sneaker. The fact that I have a crazy idea that I'm not gonna say right now. Can't talk right. about it, camera's rolling. So New Balance has been making some moves. All right, so right here we have the uh, Lee Ying's crazy man. I seen Wale rock these for a lifestyle. This is an insane sneaker, kind of like your Hoka's. Yeah. yeah. Remind me a little bit. Really bulky kind of trail running, super future. Shout out to Lee Ning, they're coming up with some very, very unique designs. And thinking mm -hmm. years back when they were just making these basketball shoes that were hard to get, mm -hmm. I wouldn't imagine that you'd see their shoe now here at Soul Stage. Yeah, they came a long way, I feel like. From the Baron Davises to this? That Baron Davises? Back in the day when he was on the Clippers. Oh, real plane, yeah. real plane. Yeah, they came a long way. Yo, Rich, what do you think about all the dunks and all the Air Jordan ones coming out in these like 1985 collegiate color waves? Mm -hmm. It's just like white and then like varsity red. White I, think, and the I think people are respecting them because they are at the end of the day still OG colors. Like the metallics, even though they look wild, the sneakerheads respect them because they were once an original. Yo, shout out to Tan. He, I found out recently that he used to work at a uh, Croc store in the mall and he used to sell these little things called gibbets where you basically customize your Crocs. Yo, I, I think these are the original Yeezy slide. Original I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I know that Crocs and like slides in general this year really shot up in profile, right? Post Malone and like a lot of people actually wear them casually. Who would have thought you would see Crocs in a Soul Stage? Is that crazy to see? I get it. These are the Justin Bieber's Drew House. That's his mm. brand. Of course he would have a Croc. What do you think <laughs> about how slides like with the Yeezy slide or the Crocs or that, what's that, that Ferg Nike slide? The fur, yeah, 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 where it's like $300 for a slide. I, I think everybody wants every aspect of their life 
to be hype right now. You know what I mean? What is decor in your house, slides, sneakers, clothing, underwear, like everything has to be something to somebody. Yo, you know why I thought I was bugging? Because Jeff Staple just did a collab with Allbirds and that ended up on StockX. You would not think Allbirds yeah. would be on StockX. Yeah, slides no. just going crazy. Stussy did Birkenstocks. I mean, that's insane. Hey, I mean, it used to be the Gucci slides, but now they're the Croc slides. So we went over some stories. Right now, it will be the time where we pick up a couple sneakers. David said he was eyeing the Union 4s. Andrew, you gonna get the aliens? Nah, nah, nah. All right, all right. I got all something right. else, I got something all else. All right, we're gonna get looking right now. Woo, okay, so the sneakers we are gonna be getting today. David, the Union 4s, solid pick right now. Wear them five times a week. And then, <laughs> I, I just sold my pair that was super beat, so I'm going with the Air Fear of Gods right here. Still pretty cool in price. What about you? All right, man, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Alien. Oh, <laughs> I'm not here, I'm, I'm gonna buy them. I'm, I'm gonna wear them, try them on, you know, like, yeah. get a feel for them, think of some outfits. All right, those are the three sneakers. Let's check out. All right, oh huge shout out to Soul Stage. Got the fear of God, unions, and the aliens. The aliens, crazy. All right, peace. <laughs>